live deep in the heart of West Texas. It's the James Hendricks Show. Coming to you from the James Hendricks Center for Advanced Conservative Federalist Studies. No diplomas, no exams. Just straight learning. Folks, I gotta be honest with you. The news is anecdotal. The news is anecdotal. And so, what mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing here, put this crazy phone on, do not disturb. So, we don't need anything from this reactive culture to interrupt what I got to tell you. Now, we all know about the storm going on with this leaked document. And the mixed, sim, sim, uh, mixed, sim, the mixed signals given by both sides of the aisle. Y- yeah, I have to say this, okay? I have to say this. Some of the people that are probably younger than me, they say, you, con- you conservatives, you're just too reactionary. Well... That's not what you're going to get on the James Hendricks show, okay? I'm not reactionary, okay? I'm not going to sit there and just analyze and jot down stories all the time that you can't do anything about. I tried that. I tried that in broadcast journalism school. I tried that in a podcast I tried to do before COVID-19. Or as I'm fond of calling it, the devil virus. Then you say, why do you call it the devil virus? See, we all know it comes from, really? Oh, everybody in this world has their own conspiracy theories on where it came from. But I'll tell you straight where it came from. It's from the pits of hell, and it's it's from the fires of hell. And and it's behind us, so let's move on. Now, the gist of what I'm going to tell you today is that Jesus can save America. And you might say, well, to me, you're not making any sense. So many of the preachers are saying that the judgment of God is coming on America. Okay, I mean, granted it's happening, but I'm going to say this from the perspective of a Latter-day Saint. And I know people warn about this, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm a constitutionalist Latter-day Saint. Because Joseph Smith told Brigham Young, the day will come when the Constitution of the United States will hang by thread. Well, it would be up to the elders of Israel to save it. Okay. We need good, strong men, wise men, to preach the truth and the fact, the matter that we know. Listen, to me, listen, to me. That we know is in our Bible. Jesus can save America if we would come to him. He says this in John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus saith, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now, isn't it something? Now, in the midst of all this Supreme Court thing. We have abortion, abortion versus. Come on. Can't we wake up? Can't we wake up and see what it's like? Yes, okay, I'm not going to deny it. We have economic and, and, and pocketbook issues that we need to deal with. And then you, you have commentators that are a dime a dozen that will tell you that. And, and I 
on occasion look at the economic impact. But we are fighting for the culture and the soul of America, okay? And I think it should be a battle of faith. You say, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 listen to me. I was telling my good friend today that my faith is a part of, a huge part of everything I do. And she says, it should be a part of everything we do. And it should. Jesus can save America. Now with that, I hope you enjoy listening to the James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of receiving the most daily updates. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, take care and be proactively informed. You guys go out there and have a blessed day.